hours after polls closed on Sunday, Turkey appeared headed for a runoff presidential election, with rival parties both claiming the lead. But sources in camps of both incumbent President Tayyip Erdogan and challenger Kamal Kılıç admitted they may not clear the 50 percent threshold to win outright. Early results put Erdogan comfortably ahead, but as the count continued, his advantage slid. Sunday's vote is one of the most consequential elections in the country's 100-year history, a contest that could end Erdogan's 20-year rule and reverberate well beyond Turkey's borders. As one of President Vladimir Putin's closest allies, a defeat for Erdogan will likely unnerve the Kremlin but comfort the Biden administration, as well as many European and Middle Eastern leaders who had troubled relations with Erdogan. Turkey's longest-serving leader has turned the NATO member country of 85 million into a global player, modernized it through megaprojects, and built a military industry sought by foreign states. But his volatile economic policy of low interest rates set off a spiraling cost-of-living crisis and inflation, angering voters. His government's slow response to a devastating earthquake in southeast Turkey that killed 50,000 people added to voters' dismay. Kılıç Dürülü has pledged to set Turkey on a new course by reviving democracy after years of state repression, returning to orthodox economic policies, empowering institutions who lost autonomy under Erdogan's tight grasp, and rebuilding ties with the West. If neither candidate secures 50 percent of Sunday's vote, the runoff election will be held May 28th. Ekranları başında bizleri henüz kesin sonuçlar belli olmama haber açık ara önde bulunuyoruz diye bir tabloyu öndeyiz diye anlatarak milleti bir kez daha muhtem biz seçimlerde en yakın We have already surpassed a closest competitor by 2.6 million votes in the elections. I believe that the figure will rise much higher with the final results. We don't know yet whether the presidential election is over in the first round due to the 50 plus 1 person vote limit of our electoral system. If the decision of our national shows that the elections have been completed, then there is no problem. Election for the lawmakers of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey resulted in our People's Alliance winning the majority. Currently, the majority in the parliament is in our People's Alliance. Our alliance dominates almost all commissions. Therefore, we do not doubt that the choice of our nation, which gave the majority in the parliament to our alliance, will be in favor of trust and stability in the presidential election. Erdogan, bütün iftira ve hakaret Despite all the smear campaigns and insults, Erdogan did not get the results he expected. Nobody should get excited about a fate a complete.
Elections are not won on the balcony. Election data still continues to come in. If our nation decides on a runoff with our pleasure, we will definitely win this election in the second round. Everyone will see it. It seems that the elections will go to the second round and Turkish nationalists and criminalists will be the determinants of the runoff. Dear friends, there will be another difficult 15 days ahead of us and during this time, if the elections are completed with the current results and go to the second round, we will do our best to make this process a good one for our nation and our country. At this time, we are not saying that we will support one party or the other. Arkadaşlar sağ olun.